Today on People of God, we welcome my friend Nick Genovese. Nick was an O'Hare Fellow at American Media, and now he teaches and works in campus ministry at Catholic Memorial High School in Roxbury, Massachusetts. Welcome to Faith and Focus, Nick. Thank you, Jim. I'm uh, very grateful to be here. Now, you're at Catholic Memorial, uh, but you didn't always want to be a campus minister. Can you share the story? Of course. So it dates back to when I was in middle school. My dream was to work at ESPN to do sports media. Well, it turns out uh, I went to BC, um, studied theology. Between the BC uh, formation I had and the community of people I worked at at America, um, I started having different uh, vocational uh, polls. But um, last May, I went into the ESPN studio in ABC, and I ended up going to an interview after talking to a few people. And uh, we were talking about what's led us to, uh, you know, our, our respective careers, his, his job at ESPN and mine, hopefully budding. I, I mentioned how I studied theology at BC, and that was a unique thing. And then I, I'm working at a Catholic media company, and that was a unique thing. The, the guy uh, with the best intentions, he just he kind of made a little joke saying, so you prepare to give up your faith for sports. And again, I don't think he meant it as a, a serious matter, but just the way it, it struck me, um, it was like this moral, moral, intellectual, emotional crisis. And in that moment, literally 30 seconds to a minute, I, I had second thoughts and I told him that I was not going to take the position. Uh, that really was one of the most low points in my life. It was m a moment of despair. I went into Central Park, was right across the street and cried for a few hours on the bench. I went through my wallet, just sifting through my wallet, and I pulled out a, a business card of a mentor of mine who had been pretty instrumental in my first year at Boston College. Um, and he, I reached out to him looking more for consolation than, than, uh, than a job, really, just for guidance, not, not a position. Uh, by the grace of God, the next morning at 7 a.m., I got a phone call saying that a position in campus ministry had just opened up. And I got to say, it's, it's the best decision I've ever made in my life, and it's, uh, there's no place in the world I'd rather be. Well, it's a great story. And what, what do you think you were crying about in Central Park? I thought that I could have it all. You know, I thought I could have fulfillment, have a life centered on serving God, have money, have fame, have prestige. And it came to a moment where I thought, you know, I have to pick and choose what is actually most important to me. We have a lot of desires, but um, there's one desire that runs deepest, and that's the desire for God. Um, and I, I thought this was the best way to live that out. Yeah, I think you made the right choice. Well, Nick, I just want to say thanks, and uh, we miss you here at American Media, and uh, good luck. Thank you yeah. very much. Sir. You're welcome. If you have a story to share about a moment God touched your life, send us an email at fifshow at americamedia.org. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.